Hi, I'm Robert today with Interfit Photographic. We're gonna go ahead and do an update on the S1. We're here at Texas School, and while we're waiting for the people to come in and out, we're gonna go ahead and update all the firmwares for the S1 so you can start shooting right out of the box. We're also gonna do all the remotes. So all of the equipment here for Interfit will have the most current firmware, so when you purchase today, you're gonna walk out the door ready to go. But let me show you how easy it is. Go ahead and walk over this way. This is the S1. I find it really easy that if you put your reflector on there, it gives a really nice base to the, to the unit. So you go ahead and do the upgrade. You have the knob back here in the back you're gonna pull off and you can see right down here is your USB connection to do your update with. Now this is very special. I like to do those with the battery off. You can also do it with the battery in, but we recommend taking the battery out of the unit. Now the key point after you download the software for your PC or your Mac is you want to make sure that you hold down your control button while you plug in the USB connector. That is going to put this in the, in the mode to be able to receive the flash update. So let me get the uh, computer going. When you get the software loaded up on your computer, down here at the bottom it'll say disconnected in red. So let me show you what happens. We're gonna push this down, take our connector pin, plug it inside. The light will come on on the back. You'll see the LED right here just kind of glow that doesn't have any power. And then over here on the computer, you'll see where it says connected. I'm not sure if the video camera can show that. Once it says connected, we come over to the side, hit start. The entire time we're pushing down on that center control button, at the end, over here it'll say upgrade is complete. We'll disconnect, and then all we do is unplug the cable and let go. And you're good to go. Just put your knob back on. If you like, you can take your battery, put the battery back in, and to find out what your firmware is, hold down the test button while you turn the unit on, and that will show you 2.3. That is the current firmware that this is loaded up with. And there you go. That's how you update the firmware on the S1. And again, we're getting all these up, updated. If you're actually in Tulsa or Oklahoma City, Bedfords, we'll be updating those firmware as well. You guys have a great day. Thanks a lot.